the whistle goes. Plenty of courage, but they were up against two supreme gladiators here tonight. Bella, Caroline, gladiators come over as well. Well, that was a bit of a battle, wasn't it? Bella, you were so trying to get your revenge on Panther, but it's so tough, isn't it? I thought I had it a couple of times. And what happened? She just was on your just tail. On me, on me, on me straight away. When you think you've just got away, she just picks you up, launches you And off. it must be so exhausting when you get thrown every time. Yeah, definitely. She's strong, isn't she? Yeah, great contender, but I've had a great day at the office, so it's been good. It's the night of the Panther. Now then, Caroline, Enigma, you were also having quite a few tussles on the mats there. I just grabbed onto her because I thought, if I bring her down as well, then I've got a chance of actually running and racing her up to the top. But we just rolled down together. And... Well, girls, have you got anything left for the dreaded eliminator, Caroline? I've got everything left for the eliminator. I'm totally fit. <laughs> Very good. Bella, how about you? Say so all for the eliminator. That's what we like to hear. What a great competition this is. Let's have a final look at the scoreboard before that dreaded eliminator. Caroline's two-point advantage means she'll have just a one-second head start in the eliminator. Greg and Andrew must be quaking in their boots. There'll be ten points to the first contender to get to the top. They really need those points as they go into the eliminator. But I've got a feeling this is going to get messy as looking to make mincemeat of them are Atlas and Oblivion. Gladiators look really fired up. Greg and Andrew will be two, fighting for a place in the quarterfinals here. And only one of them will go through. Contenders, ready! Gladiators, ready! Three, two, one! A great scrap in prospect here, and a determined start by both contenders. Just look at Greg go. He's out the new Atlas, and he's done it. Unbelievable, the first contender to make the top of the pyramid in this series. But the battle goes on for Andrew. Can he still get a vital point if he can hit that button? Oblivion's got hold of it, but Andrew's clawing his way up the pyramid, inch by inch. And yes, he hits the button, that's special. Grit and determination from Andrew. Lightning speed from Greg. Humiliation for the gladiators. And we've seen history made here tonight. That's never happened before in Gladiators. I gotta say, Greg, firstly, 10 points, first time I've seen it on Pyramid! Yeah! You actually got him blocked off by Oblivion and Andrew. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant to do. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. Atlas, you've got to be disappointed. Well, uh, I've not got much to say. Disappointed's not the word. Okay, and Andrew, you made it past the big O, the big O, as you call him. Tell me what was happening, because it looked like a real rough ride for you. He got me around the feet, I drove on. He got me around the hips, I drove on. And then he got me around the neck, but I still drove on. Hanging off the back of me, I got up a step, and I got all three fingers on the top of that button. I've got to say, it was pretty impressive, five points, and you needed the points as well. I've got to ask the big O, the big o are you going to give my man credit, or are you going to mouth off? It's about time that the contenders and the audience in this arena showed some respect to the gladiators. Surely you got to earn respect, Oblivion. I'll tell you something else as well. Wait. He tries, to, he tries to muscle here. in on my shot. Go! And don't come back! Get off! Well, there you go. Move. Coming in, and Well, the boys have really got back some of the gladiators. You've got to give them credit. But let's get our breath back for the Eliminator while we have a look at the final scores for the men. Well done, guys. Give me five. Well done. Loving your work. Loving your work. Greg, 17 points ahead. He'll go into the Eliminator with a head start of eight and a half seconds. That was unbelievable. Our contenders must be exhausted. If they thought facing the Gladiators was tough, they're in for a shock. It's not over yet. And remember, you can log onto our website for all the new interviews, inside scoops and all the backstage banter. Don't go away, because while our Gladiators go off to get a royal telling off from John, spare a thought for our contenders. For them, the night's not over. It's only just begun. Join us after the break for the Eliminator. Welcome back to Gladiators! Okay, the fight's still on, but our contenders no longer have to worry about Gladiators. They only have to worry about each other. Now they're going there to head in the final showdown to see 
Who will be going through to the quarterfinals and who will be on that first bus back home? It's a dog eat dog world and this challenge is a beast. It's the Eliminator. We have a police officer against a firefighter. Who's going to win this? It's going to be tough. Caroline, you have a one second head start. Is that going to be enough though? One second's nothing, but um, I don't think I even need the one second head start. I'm just going to go for it. Anything you're worried about on this Eliminator? Nothing, especially not the fire. I was going to say, you're not going to be worried about the flames there, are you? No, not at all. You saw that. What about you, Bella? You have been defeated three times by Panther. You're not going to let Caroline do that, are you? <laughs> no, Panther's not here, and this is Caroline. This is a completely different ball game, and I'm so up for the challenge. You've been brilliant contenders. Good luck to both of you. Let's see exactly what you'll have to face. The Eliminator. An assault course designed to test your strengths and expose your weaknesses. It's fast, it's furious, it's strength sapping, and it ends with the dreaded Travelator. With one second in it, this is going to be a close race. Caroline, you will go on my first whistle. Bella, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. They're off. Almost nothing between them. And it looks like Bella is already making up a one second deficit. She's forging ahead, in fact, as they reach the cargo nets. Neck and neck. And great climbing technique from both girls. Caroline has clawed back her lead, but only just. Both these women so determined, so strong, on towards the cotton reels. And Caroline opening up a lead. They both know there's just one place left the quarterfinals. Seven women have gone before them and they're fighting to take that eighth place. Caroline first to slide down the road and head for the monkey bars. Bella still very much in sight though. It's quite a tight race this. Firefighter Caroline really in her rhythm now. The last thing they can afford to do is slip off remember and take the time penalty. That would be disastrous. Caroline's clear and off to scale the monster pyramid. Bella still in touch though, hoping for a slip. She'll pounce on any mistake from her opponent. But it's a faultless climb by Caroline. And down the zip wire she goes. Thoughts of that place in the quarterfinals very much in her mind now. Bella hoping the Travelator provides her opponent with trouble. A firefighter from Somerset is really fired up for this. And the last place in the women's quarterfinals has been put. Bella wasn't far behind, but in the end, Caroline was just too good for her. Bella did the police force proud, but it's the firefighters who claim the bragging rights. Caroline, Bella, come over here. That was amazing. Come and sit down. Congratulations, Caroline. You've done it. I can't believe I won. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I... How was it? It was hard, it was really hard. I just, I can't believe it, it's like a dream. I can't believe I won. You were absolutely brilliant, both of you. You were neck and neck at the beginning. That one second didn't seem to matter, did it, Bella? No, it didn't. I don't know where I quite lost it there, but... Caroline, was there any point that you thought you were going to be beaten there? No, because I couldn't see Bella. I wasn't looking. See, when I was coming out of travel later and she wasn't there, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to win this, I'm going to win it. I just couldn't believe it. Oh, Bella, how are you feeling about it? Uh, I'm gutted, but do you know what? I've had a fantastic time. It's been brilliant. But you know what? Fair juice to Caroline is brilliant. She's been a great competitor. You've both been brilliant. Does this mean that firefighters are stronger than police women? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> firefighters rule. <laughs> Let's hear it for our quarter finalist, Caroline. Go and see your families, girls. So the girls are brilliant there, but Greg, you've got an eight and a half second head start over Andrew. So tell me, is there any part of the Eliminator that's bothering you? No, no, not at all. I mean, eight and a half seconds sounds a lot, but I'm not taking that for granted at all. And I've got to say, the both of you have been brilliant, and the two girls, but Andrew, like I said to Greg just there, eight and a half seconds, where do you feel you might be able to get that back? Do you know what, it's a big amount of time, and Greg's proved tonight he's more than capable of doing stuff, so if he makes a mistake, I'll pounce on him. If he doesn't, he deserves to win it because he's been amazing tonight. Good luck to the both of you. See you at the finish line. Well done, fellas. And now there's only one place left in the quarterfinals. Greg, you will go on my first whistle. Andy, 
You will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Off comes Greg, who knows he has to be careful here. Yes, he's got that eight and a half second start. But as Andrew says, he's ready to pounce on any mistake. And there's Andrew's whistle. Into the water he goes. Greg is already starting his climb up the cargo net. It's been a long night. Both of these men have battled so hard, and they'll be feeling it now. Andrew reaches the net. Greg is at the top. His fiance and family cheering him on as he clears the cotton reels. Meanwhile, Andrew pulls himself up and over the top. He hasn't made up that much time, and Greg is over the nets and down the rope already. But Andrew won't give up. He's doing this for his mum. He'll want to make her proud as Greg storms ahead on the hand bikes. This man's like a machine. But Andrew seems to be catching up. And it's Greg that's going to be clear first. He just reaches the end. That was brave. He could have easily fallen back. And he's off towards the pyramid. Andrew is still struggling on the hand bike. He must have thought he had Greg then. He was so close to catching him. But now he's losing precious time. And it's Greg first down the zip wire. He flies by Andrew, praying now that the travelator doesn't prove too difficult. Andrew can see victory slipping away. Just the travelator between Greg and that last place in the quarter.